Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. And it's Norm from Tested. Norm, you said you had a surprise for me. Uh, this weekend is Maker Faire, so we want to do something Wait, really what? silly. It's Or by the time you watch this, Maker Faire's over. It's done. Oh. But uh, for Maker Faire, we wanted to walk around and do something and partake in the Maker community by making giant heads of ourselves. Something that you can do at home. And it's a combination of a bunch of different techniques, which we're going to run through now. So we had our friend Brandon Bazard, who was one of the inventor and finalists, okay. come by our office and do photogrammetry modeling. On this is heads. when you made me sit in the chair and I spun around. Yes. Yeah, so okay. the way photogrammetry works is that uh, we set up a green screen, set up some even lighting, and we sat on a basically a lazy Susan, a spinning chair, and photos were taken of our heads from all sides, dozens of photos. And you can import this into a program called PhotoScan. There's a mm -hmm. free, you can also do it with a free program, Autodesk 123D Catch. Mm -hmm. And what that does is generate a 3D model of your head. And if you had a friend with a 3D scanner or something like that, you could do the same thing in yes. a little bit easier fashion as well. Right. Uh, the, the model isn't just the wireframe. You can also you get the texture, which is important for what we want to do with this project. Okay. And so that model you can import into a program called Peppercura. Which people We've talked about Pepecur a lot. People make Iron Man armor with Pepecur. Yeah, so it's a program where if you import any standard 3D file, it will uh, deconstruct the file uh, to give you papercraft instructions. Um, so if you design something in, for example, SketchUp, um, like Iron Man armor, Iron Man helmet, mm -hmm. import into Pepecura. Um, it'll give you printout instructions so you can actually print it out on pieces of paper and then fold it with tabs into something that's a 3D model. So we want to get really big heads. Because our heads clearly aren't big enough not, already. Not big enough already. Um, exported the model with Tepakura and print out with the, at the photo lab downstairs mm -hmm. a 36 inch by 80 inch sheet, one giant sheet. Uh, which then? Oh, how big? Eighty inches is like twelve, seven feet. That's it's pretty. That's pretty really long. big. Really big, and then mounted that on some cardstock using. So you glued the printed sheet to cardstock. And you don't need, you know, if you have a laser cutter or laser printer at home, you can print it on your own laser printer. Uh, you don't need to go to a photo lab to print it out. I just want it on one giant sheet. Is Pepakura smart enough to like to that you say, oh, I have eight by twelve sheets? Yes, you can It'll split cut it, up. it up into the appropriate size piece because there's. There's, these pieces are arbitrary, right? There are, be, you yeah. set up where the tabs are, you set up where the pieces interlock, um, but for the ease of building a model so we're not taping too much, because mm -hmm. we're talking about hundreds of faces, of polygonal faces, yeah. uh, I wanted to put it on one big sheet. So using such some spray glue, 3M spray glue, uh, mounted it on some heavy cardstock, so this okay. is nice cardstock, and then went through the very laborious process of cutting this out. So this is what one sheet looks like right now. Yeah. And you can see this is actually Will's mouth right there. Will's mouth, there goes beard. And these tabs need to be folded, and there are lines on the printout for where to crease the tabs, which we use this tool. What's that tool called, Norm? It's called a boner. Whose boner is it? It's Martha Stewart's boner. It's a Martha Stewart <laughs> boning tool. If you search online, it's her boner. How much, did, how much, did, how much does it's, Martha Stewart's it, boner cost? Just a couple cost? bucks. Just a couple really? bucks. Really? Can you get Martha Stewart's boner at Michael's? If you, the more you say it, the cheaper it costs. It's such a funny joke. Um, it's a boner. And this, right now, What is, do you use? You just, you put a straight edge down with the boner. Put a straight edge down. down the line and then Run it, it a couple times and then you get a good crease. Okay. And this is an uh, uncut, Holy unfinished crap, that's piece. a lot of my face. And when this gets folded, it will be Theoretically, a giant polygonal head, if which I you had, can wear as a helmet. If I had known this was what this was for, I probably wouldn't have agreed to do it. This is going to be horrifying. So Small we're going to jump gonna run away to scared. Maker Faire and have some fun at Maker Faire wearing our giant heads. Maybe you'll wear my head, maybe I'll wear your head. I don't know if that's we'll appropriate. We'll see. For so let's jump to Maker Faire. Okay, we're at Maker Fair, and we got heads. Our heads were not big enough, so here they are. After maybe 40 hours of construction, these were a pain to put together. Your head's a little bit bigger than mine, and it has a lot more facets, Norm. What did we learn? So, when you're cutting these together, remember, we uh, spray glued the printout to cardstock, which is a great idea, it's kind of sturdy. Uh, get clamps and magnets, tiny plastic clamps. Could not recommend use about two dozen of those, and also little magnets to kind of stick the pieces together. To you, hold while the glue sets up. To hold while the glue sets up. Regular paper glue would do just fine. Did use a bit of super glue. 
and then also sharpies to and and uh, and paint to fill in the seams to make it look like one cohesive piece. There's a lot of gold paint on mine, which kind of highlights. Yeah, gold sharpie and then some gray paint definitely hides hides your crimes, like Adam would say. And if you're modeling in Pepper Curl or modeling in SketchUp beforehand. Really, don't care about the ears. If you're making your face, the most important thing is you need your nose and your eyes and your mouth. The ears are a disaster. I look like a burn victim. Don't pay attention to those. Is there some place you should start? Should you start with the more complex stuff or the less complex stuff, or so does it matter? You should start with building your neck frame first and wrapping, getting a cylindrical shape. So uh, the face is usually the most detailed part, the most triangles. Split those out separately. That's going to be at the very end. Get the wrap the head around first. Get your neck ring around. Reinforce with clamps on the bottom for your neck. I have a little bit of reinforcement on the bottom, and then painstakingly uh, get the triangles right for the face, the facial structure. What about the number of facets? You can con con configure that in Pepakura when you're setting up the model. Yeah. Right? So, so Will has bigger shapes, bigger polygons, so fewer actual faces. I think only a few hundred here. I have twice as many, about 900 faces here. Good God. Much smaller squares. Score them. Use the exacto. Score them. The boning tools work well, but score them with an exacto. Makes folding them that much easier. So let's walk around. Yeah, I think we should walk around. I can't see a thing, Will. I can see a little tiny bit, but not really. The phrase enough to be dangerous comes to mind. Give me a high five. Hey, look at that over there on the right. That's amazing. And on the left. Oh, the left's good too. Yay! I lost Norm. Okay, that's good. High fives. Left side or right side? Thank you. Nice job, guys. Whoa, crash. Don't step back, Norm. Two. What the hell? You guys are holding out on me. Good job. Nice. Norm, you want some paella? Boy, I'm sure hungry. I could really go for some paella. You want to switch heads? I think it's time for a head swap. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Norm's is a lot scarier than mine. I can't see anything. It's Friday. Time for another episode of Print the Mystery Object. This week we're at Maker Fair. Checking out 3D printers. Place your best guess of what we're printing together in the comments below. Staying alive, staying alive. Do, 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 do. Well, no. you know what this video is missing? Churros? No Maker Fair is complete without churros. It's the traditional way to end Maker Fair. Two churros. Okay, thanks. Mmm, delicious, delicious churros. Wait. Norm? Norm, I can't eat my churro. We'll see you guys I, next time. Have a good one. Bye.